no way this actually works so so good yo what is going on guys it is aj bants here welcome back to the channel in today's video we're going to be going over a new adaptive trigger software for the dualsense ps5 controller on pc i just want to say a quick shout out to pallyverse who created this software he actually commented on my last video to let me know so a big shout out to him if it wasn't for that i probably would have never ever known this software existed but without further ado we're going to jump into the pc test it out and see how well it actually works okay we're now over at my pc and i'll show you guys real quick how to download this app you just want to come over here to GitHub. I'll leave a link to this in the description so you don't have to worry about that. Just click this link here, the DualSense X-setup.zip. Once you have downloaded that, it will open up in whatever zip um, or unzip software you have on your PC. Just double click it, that will download the app. And that is it, the app is downloaded and ready to use. So we're going to go ahead and open it now. And now just a quick one before we jump into this, I had to turn off my antivirus software in order to download this. I'm not telling you guys to do it. I'll never ever recommend that to you. However, if you want to download this app, it might ask you to turn your antivirus software off, otherwise it won't download. But that is completely up to you. I understand if you don't feel comfortable doing that. Okay, so now we're going to turn on the control connected to the PC. So I've got my one hooked up on Bluetooth, so I can just switch my Bluetooth on. Click the on button on my control. And there you go, as you just saw on the app, it is connected, my controller is on. It's all good to go. And yeah, that's another thing. If you guys don't know how to connect your controller to the PC in the first place, you do need to download DS4 Windows, which I'll leave a card for up here. It'll also be linked down in the description where I made a video on how you can do that. It's super easy, super simple to follow. So go ahead and check that out if you don't know how to set your PS4 control up on your PC. PS5 control, sorry. Um, all right, so we're on the app now. We can see there's a whole bunch of different settings. Over here, we have the controller LED settings, which just controls the lights on it right there uh, we have the connection status as you can see my controller is connected it's emulating as a xbox 360 controller but you can also e emulate it as a DualSense 4 controller DualShock 4 controller sorry i'm <laughs> getting my words muddled up we're going to leave it on the xbox 360 um, emulator because that's genuinely what works best when you're playing pc games um all right and then over here is where we can see the adaptive trigger settings so we're going to jump into that one first however i do want to go back to control leds in a bit because there's a cool thing you can do on there that I really like. So let's see what we have here. We have a whole bunch of different settings. And I can already say off the bat, the way this software is designed is definitely a lot nicer than the software I'm currently using for adaptive triggers. So that is already a bonus in my books. All right. So we have normal triggers, which is just the trigger how it normally is. It doesn't have any feedback on it, anything like that. And then if you start going through, so we've got custom trigger values and it's currently set to pulse and then oh sorry i have to click apply at the bottom and it is cool you can set it to either the left trigger the right trigger or both triggers which is also a big plus i really like that i'll leave it just on the right trigger because that's normally what you need it on all right and i've just heard something happen there and now yeah so now it's got it's a lot harder to push down on it as you guys can probably see in here so we can change the setting here to i don't know vibrate resistance I click apply again and see what happens not much is happening with that one i can still feel the motors in there doing something but not much is happening so we're going to change this to a gamecube trigger let's see what that does gamecube trigger all right yeah that one when you push down you get like a little bump back that's cool but i have actually played with this app off um off camera and there's something i really like about it so if you come down here to vibrate trigger custom intensity and you just bump this up a little bit to around, we'll say around 15, 16, click apply. Now this is where you get that um, that pushback and you'll see what I mean, that pulsing kind of effect, that one right there. So if I can get the camera to focus, that's where you get, it's gonna be good for you people that are playing first person shooters and stuff like that. You can really feel it in the trigger, it's really pushing back, which I really like. And you can bump up the intensity, you can bring it down. Every time you change a set, you need to make sure you click apply. So we just brought it down a little bit and that has just kind of slowed the trigger down. Very, very good. I've got to say this app is definitely a lot nicer than the one I was using before. I'm not putting the other one down at all because the guy that developed it done an amazing job. I'm just saying overall, the way this is designed, the amount of different settings it comes with and the ability to completely customize all those settings as well, I find I mean, I find it really, really good, really handy. So we've got the hardest trigger on, and yeah, you can feel that, man. So let me get this to focus. There we go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can't really see on camera, but 
I'm putting a lot of pressure on that to push that down. <laughs> That's really, really cool. But yeah, I think my favorite setting would be just the um, custom trigger one because then you can set it to exactly how you want it. And that's when you really start to get that adaptive trigger feel. There also is a controller vibration setting. When you turn it on, you'll feel your controller vibrate once. I'm guessing when you're in games, you'll feel it uh, vibrate when you're getting hit and stuff like that. And also turning that on doesn't turn off your adaptive triggers. You still got your adaptive triggers on there. We're just going to put on normal triggers for now. And as soon as you put it on, click apply. You'll hear a little noise in the control and it'll be back to normal. There'll be no adaptive triggers on it. What I wanted to show you guys was the controller LED settings. Now I've just turned off the flash so you can actually see the LEDs on the control. I want to show you guys the setting that I really like about this. So here you have a bunch of different colors you can go through and change on the control. You can see as soon as I've clicked it, it's changed to that. Got the dim gray. Really, really nice settings. But this is what I like the most. If you go here and then click on rainbow, you get the RGB mode and it then cycles through all the different colors and you can change the speed of it. You can change the brightness. You can even put on the actual mic LED just like that. You can leave it on pulse, so there it pulses just like that. And you can also turn on the player LEDs, which is really cool, which is the five white lights underneath it. Unfortunately, those can't change color, but again, just another nice feature. And you can change the brightness on those two to medium, low, high. You can put on just the one, the three, the five. You can literally you can go for any one you want. I'll leave this one off. But yeah, I just thought I'd show you guys that because I think it makes the controller look really, really cool. There's also a dish section of the app called controller, where if you go on it and then you click a button, it will show you exactly how hard you're pushing on that button. And it also displays the button itself, of course which I think is, again, really, really nice. I mean, this app has got pretty much everything. The guy that created this covered all bases. Here it's got games. Um, I haven't played this at all yet, but I think this is where you can test out the triggers and test out what they actually do. I'm going to just run that quickly right now so I can show you guys how it works. Okay, so cool. How this works is you just go up to these things. You go next to them and that turns it on. So right there, you have your normal triggers. But if I go over here next to the GameCube one, you can see in the top corner, GameCube triggers activated. And now, getting a little bit of feedback on that. So we're going to go across to, where do we go to? Let's go to intensity 10. And then you can watch the game and watch the triggers. There you go. So much thought has gone into this app. Like in terms of even just creating a game to test all out all your different settings. He's, he's done a lot. So we've bumped the intensity up a little bit. Now, when you get to that really high intensity, you feel more of a vibrating uh, on the trigger than you do like a, like a haptic feedback kind of feel. But if we put the intensity to two and then we click down on the trigger, you get like a really light feedback on it, as you can see. And it does match up really well with the game as well. Yeah, overall, really, really well designed app. The fact that he actually even made a game just so you can even test the triggers out for yourself in an actual shooter and see how it would feel, I think is amazing. <clears throat> and if you guys do want to download the game, it is so, so easy. Literally, all you do is you click over here on games. You click on view game, it'll open up a web page and just click download. And that is it. You'll download the game, you unzip it the same way I showed you guys to unzip stuff before. Open it and you can test out all the triggers on that the same way that you do on here. It's just really helpful to actually do it inside a game because then you can see how it actually is going to feel when you're playing a shooter or any other game. You might not only be playing shooters, but I think the main reason people put adaptive triggers on is for more of the shooter games. But there you go, guys. That is the DualSense X adaptive triggers control app for the DualSense controller. And it is all thanks to these dedicated individuals in the space. So a big shout out to everyone that is creating software for the controls to get them working on PC because Sony don't seem to be doing it themselves. So yeah, massive shout out to everyone that is creating software and trying to get this thing working the best way it can uh, on your PC. Again, massive shout out to Pallyverse for creating this app. It is an amazing app. It looks really good. It's got a bunch of different settings. The, again, the fact that he created a game so you can test out the settings, it just goes above and beyond. So if you guys do want to check him out, his YouTube channel will also be linked in the description, along with, of course, his app so you guys can download it as well. If you guys did enjoy this video or found it helpful, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and turn on bell notifications because I upload videos just like this and I'll see you guys in the next one.
Peace. I don't wanna look back, I don't wanna like that. I've been going too fast, all the girls like that, and the fake ones wanna see my